Debian is a free and open source operating system that uses the Linux kernel. It is developed and maintained by a volunteer community of developers and is known for its stability, security, and flexibility. Debian is widely used as a server operating system, and it is also the base for many other Linux distributions. Debian 11, codenamed Bullseye, was released on July 9, 2021 and is the latest stable release of Debian. It includes a number of new features and improvements, as well as updated packages. In this review, we will take a closer look at what Debian 11 has to offer and how it compares to previous versions. One of the key features of Debian is its support for a wide range of architectures. Debian 11 is available for x86, ARM, and PowerPC architectures, making it suitable for use on a wide range of hardware. This is especially useful for servers, where it is important to be able to run the operating system on different types of hardware. Debian 11 also offers a choice of desktop environments, including GNOME, KDE, XFCE, and LXDE. This allows users to choose the environment that best suits their needs and preferences. GNOME is the default desktop environment for Debian 11, and it includes a number of new features and improvements such as improved performance, a redesigned system settings interface, and support for fractional scaling on high-resolution displays. In addition to the desktop environments, Debian 11 includes over 51,000 packages in the main repository, with more available in the non-free and contribution repositories. This makes it easy to find and install the software you need, whether it is a popular application like LibreOffice or a specialized tool for a specific task. Debian's package management system is another key feature of the operating system. It allows you to easily install, update, and remove software, and it also provides features like dependency resolution and package signing to ensure the integrity and security of the packages you install. Speaking of security, Debian is known for its stable and secure system. It is regularly updated with security fixes, and it also includes security features like AppArmor and SC Linux to help protect against vulnerabilities and malicious attacks. In addition to the standard desktop version of Debian, there are also other versions available. The netinstall version allows you to install a minimal system and then add only the packages you need, which can be useful if you want to customize your installation. The server version is optimized for use on servers and includes tools and features that are useful for server administration, such as support for virtualization and server clusters. Let's take a closer look at some of the specific updates and improvements in Debian 11. One of the major updates in Debian 11 is the inclusion of the Linux kernel 5.10. This is a significant update that includes a number of new features and improvements, such as support for AMD Zen 3 processors, improved support for XFAT file systems, and support for the WireGuard VPN protocol. Another major update in Debian 11 is the inclusion of GNOME 3.38, which is the latest version of the popular desktop environment. It includes a number of new features and improvements, such as a redesigned system settings interface, improved performance, and support for fractional scaling on high-resolution displays. Debian 11 also includes an updated version of LibreOffice, the popular Office Suite. LibreOffice 7.1 includes a number of new features and improvements such as improved support for open document format ODF 1.3 and better integration with online services like Google Drive. In addition to these major updates, Debian 11 includes a number of other changes and improvements. Debian 11.6.0 is the latest update to the Debian 11 operating system. It includes a number of bug fixes and security updates to improve the stability and security of the system. One of the major updates in Debian 11.6.0 is the inclusion of the Linux kernel 5.10.4, which is a bug fix release that includes a number of improvements and fixes for issues in the previous version of the kernel. This update is important because the kernel is the central part of the operating system that manages the hardware and software resources of the system. Another significant update in Debian 11.6.0 is the inclusion of the latest version of the GNOME desktop environment, which is GNOME 3.38.3. .3. 
This update includes a number of bug fixes and improvements, such as improved support for fractional scaling on high-resolution displays, better handling of multiple monitor setups, and fixes for various graphical issues. Debian 11.6.0 also includes an updated version of the LibreOffice Office Suite, which is version 7.1.4. This update includes a number of bug fixes and improvements, such as better support for Open Document Format 1.3, improved integration with online services like Google Drive and Nextcloud, and fixes for various issues with formatting and layout. In addition to these major updates, Debian includes a number of other changes and improvements. For example, it includes updated versions of popular programs like Firefox, Thunderbird, and VLC Media Player, as well as various security updates and bug fixes. Overall, the Debian 11.6.0 update is an important release that brings a number of improvements and fixes to the operating system. It is recommended for all users of Debian 11 to upgrade to this latest version in order to take advantage of these updates and to ensure the stability and security of their system. If you liked this video please like, share, and subscribe.